Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And there's a really loud fan that I forgot to move. Let me just move it. Or if you can move it into the hallway, but still pointing the same direction. Around the corner. Yeah. There we go. Huge. Massive reduction. <laughs> Today, we're going to be playing Atari 2600 games. There we go. And we have two cats, and we have a Darcy in the studio. Yay! Uh, today we're going to be playing Laser Face Island, Laser Face Planet, and also Twisty Passages, and Fruit Fly Fun. Don't say that too quick and too often. She'll get uh, your tongue in a twist. Oh, I thought there was a specific word that you would say. <laughs> I thought you seemed worried enough that I thought it was going to be something dirty. Oh, no, no, no. Very rarely do people name their games dirty thankfully because i'd have to say it no but i meant like i was born on a pirate ship <laughs> oh, I Can see. Be made. yes that's right no luckily uh, i don't think that works out like that fruit fly fun uh, i want to thank the twitch subscribers scrolling beside darcy there floating uh alna for arkham h uh arm scar coder tiny 1974 atari age beef supreme br poco cuff man 2d chelsea donny mount charles win chit lala colonel lamadino a danny c daryl 1970 dr mook has glenn man great defender down super oger rapper 2600 johnny wc carl g thank you for following atarian dav pa hi uh, Johnny WC, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Vader Croco, 2600, Gavaltifer, Lambda Express, Lauren DTZ, Mark Hannes, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Latow, Miss Command, Mother 3, Mr. Zarmo, Mr. Fish, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Neil Meade, Nostalgia, Cohog, 2600, RC70, Render Ghost, Brandless VG, Ricardo Pem, Six Sweet Sledge, Hammer, Smitty B, Spice, Where Esmeralds, Teleprompter, D Train, Tiki Dan K, Vex or Ags, VVG, Double Down, X, Ken X, and Darcy is on the case. He's going to subscribe right now. You'll see his name pop it's up. Probably going to totes, totes subscribing. Totes subscribing. Thank you. He supports the show, too. He's on it, but he supports it, too. I'm very supportive. <laughs> uh, the, poll, uh, the poll thing is down. Let me just try it once more to see if it works. Um, then I could really quickly type it in. But if it's still not working, no, it doesn't look like it's working. But I was going to do a poll question today about how people play games. Now, do people, do you guys jump from game to game and play a little bit of each game? <gasps> Drexel subscribed! Thank you for subscribing and supporting the show. <laughs> Drexel, Drexel. Um, do you jump from game to game or do you tend to stick with the game and complete it? At least, like, maybe not make it to the end, because it's yeah, some games are really hard. Game, yeah, yeah. But do you like try your hardest get to the to get to the end of the game before going to the next game? It's more like the, part of what complicates your question is you added in a few details that don't quite fit. It's not okay. that I'm trying really, really hard to get to the end. <laughs> well, you're enjoying that, yourself. It's let's that I'm say. staying on that game. Yeah. And when I get to the end, then that's a natural, perhaps you know point to try a new game or what have you right but also with lots of games and it depends on the game sometimes you just start it over with a new character <laughs> well that's still playing the game and yeah, that's yeah. still enjoying yeah. it and i and i know you do stick to games for like quite a ways when you play a game like borderlands you play for a long time um also yeah. that steam game yeah, with noita. the wands yeah. noita, noita uh the Fish space superstar fishes that's the one i was gonna say next <laughs> and you did really well in that one you yeah. you did win multiple levels on that yeah um <laughs> like that was almost like a change well in the old days i would if you go back far enough i didn't think <laughs> games back. were things you finished they weren't really like, arcade games yeah. where like oh it just gets faster and harder yeah. and there's no end until it crashes yeah if you're really really good and then, and then the first game that i finished was x-wing yeah and i was like i was like why oh, you can and finish games I finished <laughs> <the> game. <laughs> and then yeah. from then on it was games that had a finish like storyline games and right that i mostly played yeah. yeah, I mean, arcade games back in the day, you couldn't really finish them until you got to like computer games yeah. or some console games yeah. uh, where there were storylines, there were endings, there were natural conclusions, not just quarter eaters. Yeah, yeah. I mean, with the games that I play, we play like eight games a week. <laughs> yeah. So 
in that sense, I do jump a lot. Yeah, yeah. And I don't really have a lot of time to complete games, but it really depends on the game for me. Like, I'm playing Cuphead right now. Yeah. And I'm like 80% done. I'm going to finish that game. So yeah. I think it really depends on the game yeah. for me because I do buy games that I do want to finish. And then yep. there's casual games where I just want to play and have fun. And the goal isn't to get to the end. It's just, just to have fun. Yep. Uh, Matari and D Dav PA says depends long games like Zelda yes where there's a quest and stuff I'll go in long spells with the game but I usually take a break and play something else before returning to that long game yeah not me you know <laughs> you stick with the game if I'm like if if I stop in the middle of a game the chance of going back mm. gets the, the longer it goes it goes down and down and down even if I it, like the game yeah. because you don't know how to play it anymore you have to relearn even the button mappings. You have to like rewire your brain to yeah. go. This is this. This is this. And like the chance it depends of going on the back. game, of yeah. course, right? With some of them, it's like very, very standard first-person shootery, and so you don't have to worry too much. But the yeah. ones where there's like spells all sorts of spells, weapon changes, and, 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 yeah. yeah, and like uh, skill chains that like right. you need to know how to play that skill chain or, or whatever, or even yeah. just remembering how the game plays at all. Yeah, yeah. like um, what's the it's the space exploring game. When it came out, it's like there's... Outer Worlds? No, it's Infinite Planets. Oh. Uh, Somebody can say it in the chat. Yeah, uh, that one. Okay, it was kind of... A little bit broken. People didn't like it at first, but now it's like, wow, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. They fixed it. But when I go... This this actually has an extra layer. When I go... You know, no Man's, Man's Sky. Sky. <laughs> when I go back to play No Man's Sky, yeah. I'm like, oh, I have to like rebuild everything because oh. they've updated it. And now oh, the yeah. components of my guns and ships are, are all broken. And, <laughs> and so I have to like... That's a modern problem. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. It's like they're forcing me to like start yeah again like, almost with some things like oh that thing doesn't exist anymore or and, and doesn't I, work that way anymore and if it's been long enough which it has been now and it hasn't been that long i'm like <laughs> i don't even know how to do i don't even know if i can just go in and do it i have to like find the stuff and where do i yeah. find it again yeah. yeah and there's a few games like that where it's so complicated that it's hard for me to start playing them again Vitoko says, I, I, is, I only test games at early stage and option? Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure, yeah. let's throw that in. And that's, uh, that's, usually in the show, I don't, sometimes I don't play them immediately. Like some of the games today, like the last game, uh, Fruit Fly Fun, I, I wait till there, it hits a certain like milestone where it's like, okay, now the game is enough that I want to show it on the stream. Yep. Some are like instant release. Okay, this is fully formed. I can yeah. show it on the uh, stream. So, But I do beta testing as well on a lot of the games before they get released. So you can add that for me, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, back from Free Flowing Friday, Infinite Prosecco might have been a mistake, but what better way to sober up than with homebrew? Sure. <laughs> um... We, I got a new light for the studio. You guys can't tell it's because I just turned down the camera when the lights go up. Yeah, it's because this, the new sign was very, very bright and it was just blowing out. So I had to add a, a fourth light to the studio and we're completely blinded now. Oh, there it is. It's the first time Darcy's seen it mounted. He saw it when it uh, arrived. Um, yeah, it's really, really cool. Yep. It's on purple right now. Very cool. Let's see. Change the color to kind of a blue. Still kind of blown out a little bit. But um, yeah, blue definitely just reads as white. And yeah, and Darcy <laughs> suggests that I mount the lights on the ceiling and that gets them out of the way. That'll help a lot. And it'll actually bring the big new light and I can put it in the center mm. and I'll just flood everything. Right now it's off to the side because the yep. center is where the TV is, and I can't put a stand in the middle of the TV. That'd yeah. be annoying. Uh, I wonder if the nice new uh, ZPH sign could be combined with something like uh, Philips Ambulate. I'm not sure what that means. I know Philips is a uh, company that makes lights, but I'm not sure what Ambulate means. Hmm. Uh, maybe you could put a gray film be between the sign and you. Like, tone it down? Uh, that's possible, but uh, that yeah. would really obscure it, I think. Because doing it with, like, lowered power would probably make it flicker at a certain yeah, point. Yeah, at a certain point. You it could might tinker with it that way. Might interfere with the camera and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it yeah. probably show up. Because it doesn't flicker on the screen. 
Uh, no, not at all. It's very steady, which is really nice. And it shows the colors. Like, you can tell the stripe colors. Like, yeah. it's purple, green, yellow, orange, like, orange, red. I'm not showing up perfectly, but well, you the, can tell. You, what you're getting, the thing that's making it work is that it's the reflection of the color. Not, the colors, stripes all look the same, mostly look the same. Yeah. But you get that halo of green reflecting off of here. So you... You there's green do. here, but you don't actually see the... Because this line is green. It doesn't look like it, but there's a green halo around it because yes. it's slightly reflecting off the plastic. They're actually all kind of white. They're all white. On yeah. the camera, but there's like a blowout of green, which yeah. actually is cool. It works really well. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's actually kind of better. It is. Stripes. It's yeah, like yeah. almost what you want yeah. to show up. Yeah. Uh, it's an effect that you would want to add in almost. Uh, Philips TVs have LEDs in the back, which virtually extends the picture using the colors from the screen. Pretty cool. Okay, interesting. The colors against the whitish wall give it a vaporware look. Yeah, against the wall. Yeah. It it really looks yeah. You're right. Actually, very it's different not the on plastic, camera. It's the wall. It's the wall that's getting the ref reflecting oh, the yeah. That's oh yeah. It looks the halo. really different on camera yeah. than it does in real life. Yeah. Um, so let's get to the news, some very exciting uh, news uh, uh, in terms of shows coming up, if I can use my mouse correctly here. Uh, the In a week today, we have a very exciting show. Um, we're going to be doing an Atari VCS homebrew special, which is in this box right here that I got recently. Darcy. Yeah, I got put this down here so I don't okay. knock it over. Uh, this is the Atari's new console. Oh. I mean, it's been out for a while, but I just Yeah, we were talking it. about this. Yes. Yeah. And there's a controller. And I've got it all set up. So what we're going to do is do a whole show dedicated to this from the um, perspective of homebrew. Because there's some homebrew on this uh, for 2600 and 7800 um, so what we're going to do is have somebody from Atari to come on as a guest for the show. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. And we're also going to be talking with some homebrew developers about their homebrew that is on the system. And so we're going to talk with Atari about how it fits into their ecosystem, how other developers can get their games on the system, etc., etc. And then from the perspective of a homebrew developer, how... That's all working out, how on, they yeah. got it onto the system, and how it all works. Um, so I got both the controllers. I got the package, so the um, kind of modern controller and then the uh, classic controller that's kind of a paddle built in. It, oh, you yeah. twist the joystick. Ah. Um, so it'll be nice that's to cool. get that perspective of yeah, That's actually Atari. a really cool way to do it. Yeah. So we're going to have uh, Dion Olsthorn, Dionoid, who has two games on the Atari VCS 800. Uh, he has Amoeba Jump, which is his first game, and then Tower of Rubble, which is really, really cool. Um, and then next show, um, on Tuesday, we're going to be having the exclusive premiere of two Jaguar games, uh, Backlash and Encounter. And we're also going to be taking a look at uh, Blockum Sockum, which is from John Hancock. Uh, for the Jaguar, who also happens to have, I think, three games on the Atari VCS 800. So I might uh, reach out to him to have him on the show when we talk to Atari as well. Hey! Speaking of bad cats, Atari's not the bad cat right now. Sprite's the bad cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad Sprite. Bad Sprite. So, uh... It's just two... one black Sprite. Doot, 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 doot. <laughs> bad kitty. Um, so that's really exciting. I'm looking forward to that. Um, let's see what else. Next one. Uh, the last few days for the Atari Age store sale is happening. So if you haven't purchased all the games that you want, they're gone from the store in two days on Sunday. So here's the list of games. There's about 90, over 90 games going away. Uh, 2600, 5200, 7800 uh, runs through Sunday, July 23rd. I uh, bought four Bob DiCrescenzo games that I didn't have, some shooters. Um, so this is your last chance. Put in your order. And I believe I read today that Al will probably be shutting down the store for a while to deal with all the 
massive, massive purchases oh, that have wow. been made. Um, so you have to get your uh, get your orders in, get your orders in quick, 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 quick. And uh, speaking of Atari Age, uh, there was a list of games posted. Not posted, I actually posted this, but it was in the uh, newsletter, Atari Age newsletter, of the potential games going to Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Um, these are not guaranteed, but he did post uh, what he's going to try and get out in box, which is a ton. Boom for 2600, Karamuho, Electro Ball, Game of the Bear 2, Immunity, Penalt, which is very exciting. That's mm -hmm. Ultima, uh, yep. a tribute to Ultima. Uh, Robot Z, uh, AWA Multi Cart for the 5200 8-bit, Scorch for 5200, RT for 7800, Death Merchant, EXO, Harpy's Curse, Million Molly, Uzi the Goo Gaiden, Plum Luck, Growing Ties Deluxe for the Lynx. And I believe that's, uh, he doesn't have any Lynx games in the store right now. So these would be the first, they may have, may, may have had them in the past, but I don't think there's any right now. Oh, the Nexus for the Lynx, a very cool looking uh, shooter. Uh, Novagen Volume 1 uh, for the Jaguar, which uh, encompass encompasses the two games we're going to be playing, premiering next uh, Tuesday. Uh, and Rocket Ranger for the Jaguar, which we're also going to be premiering later on. Um, so these are not guaranteed. Uh, oh, Thrust's game is missing. Oh no, which game? Which game is that? Maybe he'll add it uh, as he upstate updates this. So this is the ones he's trying to to shoot for, to release for PRGE. I'm gonna be there. You guys gonna be there? Dan, ABC, one of these days I'll make my way to PRG. It's amazing, it's huge. Oh, Bot and Tom. Well, I think you're done that, so I, I don't see why any reason why uh, that couldn't be added to the list if you get your uh, box done, I guess. I knew we'll have the twice the amount of 7,800 setups this year. Yes, uh, he was asking for people to sell him they're Atari 7800s uh, for ITC to mod, I'm guessing. Uh, and here is one of the first box releases uh, for Death Merchant for the 7800. As Atarius Maximus men mentioned earlier, Death Merchant is going to make its debut physical form uh, at the upcoming Portland Retro Gaming Expo. David Exton has created the original wonderful packaging for the game. Here are renders for the front and back of the box. Uh, David Exton always does really uh, post-apocalyptic, creepy, um, foreboding um, kind of looking covers and artwork, which worked perfectly for Death Merchant. Because you're a guy who travels from town to town fighting people and selling and trading things. And, death, uh, yeah, maybe? He deals in death. He merch he's the merchant of death. Yeah. And he and uh, just before the show, Al posted the second box uh, for the second game that uh, is going to definitely be at PRGE. Game of the Bear, too much to bear for the 2600, making his debut at this year's Portland Retro Gaming Expo from VHZC, um, who does his own artwork and his own programming and his own artwork in the game and his own music. He's a one-man band. Uh, looks awesome. I always love VHZC's uh, artwork there. Um, oh, yeah, going back to David X and I Retire Collection says he's a great artist and immediately got Land of Dev Devastation, Fallout, and Wasteland vibes from it. Oh, yeah, it's so good. Uh, and this is a super fun game and a cute uh, character, so I recommend picking that one up for sure. And, um,. The Atari Homebrew High Score Contest for the 7800 Division is happening very soon. Uh, April, August 14th is when it starts, so just about three weeks. Um, this is Dan AVC runs this, and he bases these games off of the winners and possibly runners up of the uh, Atari Homebrew Awards. Ah. So the games that he's included in the 7800 rounds, and I think 7800 is the, this is the first year that he's included them. A Bernie and the Tower of Doom, RT, Dragon, Dragon's Havoc, I think it's Dragon's Havoc, uh, and 1942, which is an amazing port. Um, so I'm looking forward to putting in my scores for that. Uh, a lot of fun, uh, fun games there. 
so we'll see how well I do there. Uh, so let's get to the first game today. Both games do have a score system. Excellent. Uh, which is Laser Face Island. And um, I've never played a game by this person before. They are uh, go by your face on the Atari Age forums. No name that I figured out anyway. <laughs> this was posted on July 5th. Sometimes I can find, like, they post their name somewhere, or at least their first name. But yeah, yeah. It's just a mystery right now. That's fine. Um, this is posted July 5th. It's a 4K game. We're going to be playing two of their games today. Uh, and the first one is Laser Face Island, and the next one's going to be Laser Face Planet. And he has printed out an instruction sheet for this. Um, oh. Control. Oh, it's a multiplayer. We might have to try that after we play it single player. So let's load it up and get it on the screen. I'll switch over. There's a local Atari event tomorrow. VHZC is in the panel. Oh my god, that's very exciting. What is the event? If you want to uh, post it in the chat for other people to know. So if you can go to today's date. And load it up. Um, and this is available in the Atari Age forums right now. Laser Face Planet. No, Planet Island. Island, sorry. Island first. So, do, 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 difficulty, we have it set on B, which is good. There's only one game mode, it says. Your mission. Oh no, an evil species known as the Laser Faces have invaded Earth. They have plans for world domination. Your enemies oh, must... No. Ah, You're in the tree! Ah, uh, laser Face is here! <laughs> Probably not yet. Are you Laser Face? Well, no. No, an evil species knows as the Laser Faces. Your enemies must remain dormant for now, but they could reach pow maximum power at any moment, transforming every person into their own malicious minions. Do you have what it takes to defeat every Laser Face? and save the world. I believe in you, Darcy. I believe I'm going to hide in this tree. That's the best plan. Just, so just, far, you're safe. Just try to even see me. The goal of this game is to find and defeat every laser face. While searching the island, you'll find several different items and enemies. The game ends when your life meter becomes empty. You can see your life at the top. Or whenever laser face is defeated. There are three of them. When the game is over, your score will be displayed at the top of the screen. Um, so it shows death by enemy and a victory screen. The victory screen's a metal. Uh -huh. Laser face, second cousin Rue from Taser face. Ooh. Apparently I've started. You have. Uh, overworld mode, which you're in right now. Uh, explore the island for bombs and hidden treasures. Oh, that looks bad. Uh, be careful, there are enemies that want to eat you. He did look like he wanted to eat you up. Oh my god, one piece of life has left you. This is the main game mode. The game starts here, and other modes are accessible by interacting ah! with objects. Ah! If the character reaches an unblocked edge, the screen will be scrolled to view the adjacent tile. Uh, more like flip. I don't think it scrolls. Uh, ah! An edge is blocked when it's covered by water or lava. So water is blue and lava is red. If the character collides with an enemy, your life meter will decrease by one. Move the joystick, fire to interact with objects. Oh, can you interact with the tree? Nope. I interacted with something and got some points. Did you? Yeah. Oh. Uh, volcano ah! mode. Oh, we're not in volcano mode. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we'll, I'll read the volcano mode when you get there. We're not in boss fight mode either. Those are not the... Oh, hello. You must be in the desert now. Yeah. Still water, though, on the edges. That's ah! good. So overworld objects, there's a volcano, there's a ladder, there's treasure. Uh, volcano tra transitions you to volcano mode. So if you find a volcano, uh, ladder teleports you out of the volcano. So you go in and out of the volcano. Treasure awards you five points. Oh, that's a volcano. I'm now, in volcano mode. Now I have to read about the volcano <clears throat> mode. Hey, oh. oh boy, that's uh -oh. a special screen. Um, ah! Leap I died because of the thing, not because I'm a terrible player. Leap across gaps and climb ladders to avoid the rising lava. Don't fall in or you will be burned. This volcano mode can be accessed by interacting with the volcano. 
Uh, the screen will scroll vertically up as ah! you climb up ladders. If you reach the top, you'll be taken to a new section of the overworld. But if you're submerged in the lava, you'll be returned to the overworld. And your life meter will decrease by one or two if the right difficulty switch is set to A. The lava is constantly rising, so you must move quickly. Move quickly. When does it start? When you, when you reach when you, the first ladder. Oh, you want to get to the next level. And he goes in the water. In the lava. I died. You died. I got five points. Oh, better than zero. That's good. Um, yeah. Overworld enemies. Uh, the chomper. Oh, start again. Or not. Not couch compliant. That is a chomper. The chomper was once inhabitant of the island, now is an evil minion of a laser face. It'll try to eat you by chasing you across the screen. Yeah, I'm not seeing the lasers in the oh. face. It's a lot of face. Oh, treasure. Five bucks. Yeah, no lasers yet. We might have to wait for the lasers. Or maybe it's the boss that has the lasers. Maybe. There seems to be too much to bear currently. <laughs> yeah. Little bit of a uh, line count issue on the ladders ah! or the volcano mode. Oh, what is that? That is a dormant boss. Start a boss fight if the bomb is collected. So if you remember where that boss is, that'll Shouldn't take you to the boss. Shouldn't a bomb allow you to end a boss fight? I guess it wakes him up, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm alarmed that I need a bomb just to start the fight. Maybe you shouldn't start the fight, and that's the you. win. That's the win mode. Don't wake up the boss. Ah! Uh, there's a stomper, which is a variation of a chomper, but it lives in the volcanic area. Ooh, another treasure. I already have twice as many points, and I haven't even found You're a just volcano. Kicking ass now, taking names. You're all out of, all out of bubble gum. You're kicking ass. Um, the stomper will try to stomp on you by chasing you across the screen. There's also lava puddles. It's just a puddle of lava. It will remain stationary. I found a bomb. Oh, are you going to go for the boss? Yeah. Right Obviously away. the boss. Forget the volcano. The boss needs to be uh, murdered. Okay. So before you ah. don't die, before you get, don't die before you get to the boss. Don't tell me what to do. Hey, don't go to the boss yet. I have no, to read about it. I already uh, did it. Okay, you're going to die. Uh, the laser is face it, is an evil creature. I was creature. ever going to be able to do anything about oh, dying. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. There's some, there's some line down problems here doing well. Oh, no, I can see it's laser. I died. You died. It's not a bomb. It's a flying hat. You got a flying hat. Ah, that's why. Uh, mysterious ability to transform into other beings into its own minions must destroy them all before the entire world is under their command. Hmm. Laser faces weakness. It can only be damaged by shooting a laser right into its eyes. Attacks will do half damage if the right difficulty is set to A. Uh, there was a laser, but it really flipped out the screen uh, when it was so. fired. Another thing I notice in this game is when you switch to another screen, it automatically places you in the center rather than remembering your, um, your uh, X position. And I'm not sure... X position. And I'm not sure why they would do that. Does it also do it with Y? It's yeah, it to does keep with you y from well. uh, skirting the... Uh, they also you could start just constantly the it go actually, down. It's probably better. You just have to anticipate that you always start in the center. So you always go around them. Okay. It's going right for the boss. It's boss time. I don't see any power up, so I don't see why you wouldn't want to go for the boss right away. Yeah, there's a laser of... You can see the um, kind of red brown. And he shoots from his eyes, so as long as you avoid his eyes, there's a deal. Because he's avoiding the eyes. He's almost got the boss. The boss is down to almost a third. He's down to a third, down to a quarter. He's dead. Darcy wins the game. Three times my score for the first game. 15 points. Oh boy. Okay, you're back. And you've killed the boss, but it's not over. It's going to be over as soon as the chomper bites me. <laughs> ah, interesting. And it doesn't, ah! it doesn't say anything about this. Maybe you have to go through the, all the lava. I think you found the cheat code. You just go straight for the boss. No, no, you... There's several bosses in the game. 
a dormant boss. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, evil species known as laser faces. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, this game was is said to be finished. Um, I'm not sure that they tested it on um, a real console because it has some flippy flippy uh, issues. So maybe they'll go back and um, do some more on it. Let me just read out what it says here. I've programmed a few Atari 2600 games, but they've been private for a long time, so I thought others might want to test them. The completed game is called Laser Face Island, so he does say this is complete. This is a um, 2600 um, Atari and Dev PA. Um, but that's all he that's all he says about it, actually. And I read all the instructions. So I think, oh, I died. You died. My turn. I want to go to the lava. Where's the lava? Maybe I should go get the bomb. There's a bomb in the, oh my God, putting these guys. It's right here, right? No. Oh. It's down. down. And you're going the wrong way. Down. And over to the left. Down. And over to the left. And over to the left. And up. Wait, no, that wasn't it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it randomized? Uh, you found it twice in a row, so I don't know. Oh my God. Yeah, it was the same place. Yeah, money. Treasure! I don't remember. I don't know where you are now. Okay, yeah. I'm going to just trace the map out. Hopefully. Yeah, remember, it doesn't... I definitely was down and left was my uh, bias. Down and left? Oh, okay. Treasure! But I think I found those things before I found myself back where I had been. I still trace the top part. The overworld seems fine. There's no, um, no issues with flicker in the overworld. Definitely flicker in the boss and in the lava volcano area too. Tracing the top. Oh my god. And I don't I didn't read anything about anything that gave you extra life. I have to go up a bit and then You're definitely like not in bomb slash boss area because you're in the desert now. And the bomb was in and the boss. Oh. There's a bomb. Ah. Yeah. Uh, oh. That's so funny. It filled up the boss it meter. It fills up the boss meter when you get the bomb, yeah. I'm uh, guessing you're, the, the premise of defeating the boss is like, oh, defeat them. Um, you go back. Go back. And down. Oh, because it's... Well, this wasn't the way I was tracing it. Oh, okay. Because you don't like money. No, no. <laughs> I, I was doing a systematic um, trace of the whole world, which doesn't always work. Oh, God. you got to lead it up. Yeah, I think there's a circle. <laughs> and th yeah. that's when it doesn't work. Is when you have you a went that circle. Way. We haven't gone to the other side. Yeah, you did. Oh. You come down. Ah. Up then. You have to lead that guy up or down a little. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boot. Oh, it's got a shadow. Nice. Oh, a different the, volcano. That's the volcano. Go to the volcano. Yep. I'm half life. Ugh. Okay, here we go. It's like Pac Man from the monster's perspective. One day you're just minding your own business, and then you run into a giant head that not, wants nothing to do other than your own destruction. <laughs> that's true. Robert Yeager, Montezuma's Revenge, also in the agenda of Expo Atari 2023 Chile. Montezuma's Revenge is so cool. I think. Uh, in terms of randomization, yeah, this was not tested in Stella developer mode. All devs need to test in Stella developer mode because it sets a bunch of things that could happen on the 2600. Mm. 
um, including randomization, because some people assume that things are like memories cleared out and all these things, but they don't actually happen. Yeah. yeah, hence the screen jumps, exactly. Oh, I thought I could make that. So how many lives do you get? Uh, you... you have life, and yeah. in this map it seems that when you die, oh God, you it life. just... Um... You have like zero time. Oh no, I yeah. fell away. Oh, I didn't quite make it up. Um, when you... Oh, you lose one you lose, It's like you got hit in the overworld. Right. Yeah. Okay. I slipped off. Yeah, those platforms are not the same each time, I think. No, they're randomized, which makes it challenging, which is good. Oh, my God. I wonder how many levels I have to go up. Oh, this one's hard. Oh, it stopped. Oh, good. Yeah. So when you get to the lo to the top one, oh, am I in the I'm in the volcano now? Oh, good boy. Ah, wonder if his shadow hurts you. I bet it does. What was this? I don't know. I forget. I think it was. Oh, it's a lava pit. If I remember correctly. Lava puddle. Don't walk in it. Yep. Okay, I won't. Trigger. Oof, jeez, you almost hit it right away. No shadow! I came from there. Yeah. Oh, there's down too. Okay. Oh, I'll just go down. Oop, almost. Oh, dormant boss. Do I have? You I got have a bomb, bomb. so. Let's do this! And fight this laser fight. face. Fight the... You're being very technological with your laser blast. I am. For no reason. Well, maybe so you can see the screen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it... Uh... Oh, God. We can go to the bottom. Oh, I died. Uh... Okay. How many bombs you can pull? God! <laughs> Whether like it's just one at a time? Yeah, it looks like uh, you know it's you either have a bomb or you don't have a bomb. Right. Oh, because the boss fills up completely. Yeah. That makes sense. Hmm. You think there's three bosses? One in this world? I thought when you were reading it, it said there were three bosses. Oh, like okay. That makes sense. So let's. Let's find the bomb in this world. And then... Defeat the boss in this world. I need practice at the boss, because I died. Yeah, I was being too economical. I think you can hold down the button? You can hold down the button for firing the laser? I know that you can hit it fast. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think everything's in the same place each time. Yeah. You went down. Maybe you need to go down one more for the bomb, because I didn't go down this far. Nope, nope. Gold! Oh. Far there, and the bomb you found was in the green. I yeah, think it was. Yeah. yeah, it was in the green, and so was the boss, which I found neither of in my travels. Okay. Actually, that's probably better. It does work. Yeah. yeah. Does it get you to the center? Yeah. Nobody knows where you are. <laughs> nope. Neither do I. <laughs> Bomb. 
bomb quest. <laughs> Secret bomb quest. Mm. Mm. Have to keep going down. No! Ah! We've gotten much better at uh, better debating. Yeah. Yay! Nice. The bomb! And then down there, I think, is the boss. Yes. Down? No. Yep, uh, yep, yeah. down, and past that guy. Oh, God. Ah, that was so dumb. Hello, boss. Screen clears are nice. Actually, everything in this game is quite good. Yep. Except for the flicker. Defeated. Green boss defeated. Okay, now we're gonna go. Stop it. <laughs> now we're gonna go to the desert. I think. Oh, we're gonna get that gold first. Then we're gonna go to the desert. Wherever that was. So we're back here. Uh, I want there to be more life. More life! Like, they should fill it up after you defeat a boss. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Well, it depends. Desert. Maybe... Yeah, desert. Maybe not. Um, <clears throat> I think that would be a good spot to fill it up, if you were to fill it up. Um, maybe the, uh... Maybe the challenge of uh, the game is that you don't get any uh, bonus life. That definitely is the challenge at this point. Um, you, you always have to assume the developer has beat their own game, or at least know. Oh, bomb! Good. That's part one. Or at least knows that it's. Find the boss in the desert. Yeah. Or at least knows that it is quite conceivably possible to finish the game, yep. which I think it is. I mean, I think all the bosses are the same. And I did okay. I think, yeah, I think I just need to go down more. Um, I did okay after the second try of the, or third of the volcano. Fourth. <laughs> money. money, money, money. Yeah, I'll just do it. Boss down here? Nope. Might be. Try and do the left right traversal first. Sure, yeah. Oh, yay! Uh, well, no. Oh, that's the volcano. That's the volcano. Oh, and that is the volcano, not so, a boss. I still want to yeah. get the boss in the desert first. If there is one. If there is it one. It follows yeah. that there should be one. Uh, did I come this way? No. Uh, it's a volcano. It's okay. in the volcano, which is interesting. That yeah. There's a volcano outside and a volcano inside as well. Hmm. There might be an outside volcano box. Oh, what? Hmm. I'm pretty sure now I've gotten all of the desert. Been to all the desert parts. Okay. Maybe he exists in... Oh, that was close. Maybe you only think you've been to all the desert parts. Oh, boot stop. Boot stop. That's true. Uh, volcano again. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, maybe I just thought I'd have been to all of them. It's quite possible. I feel like you have been to them all, but... That was the thing. Oh, no! No, no I got hit. Uh, best option to go through the next screen through the corners and not crash against the face. Well, that's the problem, really. Because watch, when you go to the corners, it puts you in the middle anyway. Right, but if you're near the corner, you can go... I don't know. Yeah, it, you have to know where the help. corner is in the new screen. You can pop in and see what it's like. And... Mm. I don't know. 
believe you've been everywhere. Yeah, I feel like you have. Yeah. I feel like maybe you have to... Uh... I'm going to go to the over... No, I just have to go to the volcano, I guess. I think, yeah. Volcano time. Yep. Here we go. Boots. Boots on the ground. There we go. Time for some platforming. I did it before. Let's see if I can do it again. Oh, this one's tough. Uh, I think you should try being less fearful of the lava. Yeah. I feel like it's worth possibly dying to lava coming up and getting you than it is True. dying by jumping too fast. By panicking. Because yeah. I've never seen it get you legitimately. It's always been a panic fall through the platform. And there was one time it caught right up to you and we thought, oh no, and then it didn't burn you. That's true. Yeah, I think there's some leeway. Boots. Boots. Boots everywhere. No. Yeah. Lava pit. Down you go. I don't think you can pass it by just running. But there's not quite enough time. You have to lead it up just a little bit. I think you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Because I didn't lead it, and I sometimes made it. Mm, but too risky. It it depends. Like, you have to go the right way, and I don't know which way the right way is. Yeah. True. Okay. I think leading it is the right way to do it. Yes. I'll say that. Yeah, it's <laughs> way safer. Okay, time to shoot a lot. Oh, no. You lead it up, stay there a bit, then go down. Because he pauses before he shoots. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have very little life. I've killed two bosses. I'm going to verify I said three. Find and defeat every laser face. Uh, oh, there are three of them. Okay. He might be in the other volcano. Maybe, maybe it's a different volcano. That is possible. Was the other volcano in this area? Uh, no. Oh, I have to get out of this. But go down. I think there might be another bomb. I don't know. Seems like maybe not. Maybe you are done. I think I am done. But I would have encountered another bomb, though. No, I have to go in the other volcano. Yeah. Wherever that is. Okay, back to the overworld. And I know there is another volcano... Kind of over to the right. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere. Oh, beast. But it, that doesn't. Well, that may help me if I can find a bomb in the volcano. Uh, I haven't found another bomb in the overworld. Of course, it's also possible that you don't see another bomb until you use the bomb you have. Yeah, maybe. It doesn't say anything about that in the manual. There's the other volcano. Yeah, go in there. <clears throat> okay. Don't have much life left, but I'm gonna play it. Oh god. Okay. See what I mean? Like. Yeah, it's really uh, forgiving. Well, it's, it's you have magic boots on. True. Yeah. And uh, it only gets when it gets to my face. When it gets to your face, because it's then lava it face. Lava it's laser face slash lava face. Laser face versus lava face. No, that's all that's here. It's the trick volcano. It's the f f false volcano. Okay. That was... I've defeated a boss in the grass. Mm -hmm. I've defeated a volcano boss. Mm -hmm. It's got to be the desert. And I just... It's got to be the it's desert. It's got to be the desert. Because that's all that's left. Okay, I'm, I'm in the desert now. Um... Volcano. Let's see what's oh dead end. So they're like those are like the big chomps in um, Mario. Except they're not on chains. Big chompy faces. Really that big. 
big of an area, though. I mean, it's just an island. It's not a continent. Yeah. found a bomb in the volcano area. No, you found Outside. a bomb. Was it inside the in volcano? In the desert and couldn't you found the bomb in the desert? Oh. And couldn't find a boss in the desert. Oh, okay. Well, I should look for a bomb in the volcano area then. It still doesn't help me finding a boss in the desert area. But you just left the volcano area. Um yeah, uh you do you want to get a bomb from the volcano area? Because you're going further away from the volcano that has more than one uh, okay. room. Oh, you think I should go back in the volcano? Well, you just said you need to find or the volcano the vol outside area. This is an inside and outside. Here's yeah, the outside. But this is the outside that leads to a um, pathway to the inside. There yeah. is no outside without going through that thing. Ugh. Just tested the boss fight in Stella with developer option. The picture is perfectly stable. Interesting. Um, I have played in uh, games with the developer options all on, and the game works perfectly in Stella with no flicker, no problems, and then played it on my system. Um, and other people have played it, beta tested, also had the problems, and there have been problems. So, I mean, it could be my system. It's sometimes wonky. So where are you going? Uh, you think I should go back in the volcano? Where do you think you should go? I have no idea. Yeah, into the volcano to look for a bomb is the thing that you suggested. Okay. And I'm gonna have this to is how you get in. I'm going to have to climb up. Oh, boy. Which is not as frightening as it once was, thankfully. Yeah, this is the proper big volcano area. <laughs> okay, let's search some more in here. Let's go down. Oh my god. That's a pit. Let's go over here. What's the quote from the book 1984 about boots stomping your face forever? I don't know. Uh, it's a great quote. Ah! So many boots! Those boots were made for stomping. Okay, that's where I started. And, and did you go down from there? I that, think you did. That goes out of the volcano. Ah. Okay, I did miss something, but I've looked everywhere now. Okay, so we'll go to the down that goes out of the volcano. Okay. Because we never... Not, not there, go down. You yeah. said this leads out of the volcano? Uh, the ladder does. No, no, I mean, did you go down here? Yeah, I, oh, okay. that's the first um, place I went. All right. I thought you were saying that it... Oh, no. This. Yeah, that would have been new. The game does an H move during V-Sync, which shouldn't work, but this should not cause a screen roll. Uh, I like how the stompers have socks on. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Where's the stomper? Well, they do have socks on. <laughs> um, do you think the boss stomper wears tube socks with either... A red, blue, or red triple stripe. Oh, probably. <laughs> okay, this leads exactly out of the same place. Mm. The other volcano is pretty much just a... Yes, yeah, a disappointing Very disappointing. Room. Can't go in there. Uh, I'm so close. I think you are. Two bosses defeated. Two out of three. But I'm not that close because I need a bomb and, and another a boss, boss yeah. of which I found neither. Ooh. So surprising. Every time there's a chomper or a boot, I know. it's like, ah, ah, right in your face immediately. Coming for me. 
my life is right on track. Maybe I should look in the green area some more. Yeah, I think so. I have looked through the desert so many times. And the volcano area. But did you have a horse with or without a name? Um, he never gave me his name. Um, all he said was nay. I keep asking him. I'm, I'm guessing it's no. I mean, it meant no, but mm. he kept saying nay, nay. Maybe that was his name. Uh, dead ends everywhere. Everywhere there are dead ends. Atarian Devpa says you he didn't see you go up from the ladder. I'm pretty I sure went you came around up. and came down to the ladder. So that's. I think the first time I did go up, yeah. I mean, I'll do that if I um, can't find anything, which I'm successfully, There's more than one I'm way. successfully okay, so here's finding the thing. nothing. I found the desert in more than one spot, I thought. Mm. There might be two paths to the, to the desert and two areas of the but desert. But I, I also didn't know what I was doing, and I may have just found the, the same desert each time and Could be. thought it was different. Like this could be a different path. Is this? I don't think so. I think, oh, there's a chopper there. Oh, maybe this is. Maybe? Or maybe it leads around the same desert in a loop. <gasps> That's different. That is definitely different. Yeah. Hopefully there's a bomb in this volcano. Yeah. All right. Bomb and a boss, maybe? Oh, we'll find out. What do you think, Atari? But also, the fact that we just found a volcano means we could have missed the boss. But the bomb yes. might be in here, and the boss in the desert? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, another platformer. Ooh, I don't like that one up above. Scorching my feet. Need those big boots from that uh, enemy. Protect my feet. Yeah. Okay, we're in the vault. Last volcano, supposedly. Ah! We don't know that it's the last. But, we don't. Uh, we're a the latest volcano. Yummy! Can't wait to spend all that money once I get out of here. It's okay. There's the bomb. And no boss. Were there any? Were there any turns you didn't check out yet? I feel nope. like you got them all. I think I got them all too. I'll double check that I did. That's yep. it. That okay. It. Okay. So that means the desert has. If the desert had the passage to this. Yeah. You're in a different part of the desert that you weren't in before. True. So. <clears throat> I've got the bomb. The boss is filled. He's ready to be defeated. Now, did I. I don't think I explored all the desert because I went down, found the found the volcano. I don't think I went oh, right yeah, here. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying is yeah. you haven't you you haven't done all this desert. No. This is promising. That's what, that's what I meant. With, oh, there you go. Okay, last boss. Even if you don't kill him, I, there's a certain... Oh, I better yeah. kill him. You better... No, whatever. All this work. All this work. <laughs> That's how you defeat bosses, is knowing the pattern. Woo! 90 points! You, you won! won! Number one! Number one! Yes! Are all the chompers and stompers gone? They, they, is that a submarine? It's a trophy with a one on it. Or it's a submarine out of here. Or it's a rocket ship to go to Laser boat. Face Planet. Uh, maybe it is. Um... Oh, I forgot what I was going to say, because this cute cat came along. It deleted all oh. your short-term <clears throat> memory. It went all to cats. <laughs> all my brain power went to cats. Yeah. Um, yeah, awesome. Um, it's actually a very good game. Um, it needs to be fixed, though. 
Laser face island patch done. Yeah. <laughs> put that on there. Does the screen only flicker when you shoot? Well, I was shooting the whole time, but I think no, it I think flickers that it flickers just constantly. I think, I, I think it's the shooting that triggers it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or the boss movement. But the whole time that there's a bullet on the screen, it flickers. Mm, because when okay. you were being sparing with your shooting, it stayed flickering almost as much as when you're doing it a lot, but not because you had some brief moments where there was no bullets. At the beginning, yeah. But um, sometimes when the boss comes on, the, like when other things come on the screen, that's when it's not keeping track of line count properly. Um, the jump and the lava platform seem to flicker when you jump. That as well. Yeah. Yeah. So it's everything with the button. <laughs> That's right. Price. Uh, the prize looks like a vacuum cleaner. Oh, it could be a golden vacuum cleaner. Mm -hmm. uh, really cool. Um, I suggest playing it. Uh, maybe in the um, an emulator right now because um, Thomas says it doesn't flicker in the emulator. Um, okay. Let's go on to his sequel, uh, Laser, Fla Laser Face Planet. I'll cue that up. <clears throat> there is a harder difficulty on that game, that way. where you can slow down your shots. But uh, is the icon? Uh... Oh yes, the cartridge. Thank you. Oh, and oh, I cleared the chat. No, sorry, chat. <laughs> That's what happens when you put something on the screen that's not the chat, that doesn't have the chat. So, Laserface uh, Planet, also by Your Face, posted you July 5th. Yes. There's also a cheat to go right to the boss fight, yeah, I guess. Don't press button. Don't do it. Laserface Planet spinning. Very nice representation of the planet. Who do I listen to, James or the game? Ah! Laserface has gone to space! <clears throat> He says, I also have a work in progress game called Laser Face Planet, a sequel to the previous game. It is different from the previous game with more of an emphasis on platforming. Yes. It's also a 16K game, uh, so it's more complex. The game will start out with an outer space view. So you can press fire now. So, new mission. Don't do anything. Purchase the rocket. Shoes, rocket shoes. Uh, so you've got planet health and your health. Let's see. Uh, the game will start with an outer space view from which the player can select a planet to travel to. After the travel animation, the game will play a side-scrolling platformer. Left and right to control the player. Left uh, fires to jump, up and fires to fly. Note flying is only vertical. And down and fires to interact with the objects. The player can leave the planet, or if on a lower screen, move to an upper screen by flying. What's that red dot? Oh, is that an orbit? Something orbiting around the planet? Oh, it does look like an orbiting thing. Um, okay, there's a lot more instructions. Oh, you're going to the there's green two planet. Buttons? Does it work with two buttons? No, there's only this one button. This button, is it normally the outside button? Um, they both are the same on the 26 on this joystick. But when I pressed this one, it didn't do it. And when I pressed this one, it did. Uh, that seems impossible. Okay, so up in the button is to fly. You better practice on this screen. Okay, uh, the player can leave the planet. I would just stay on... Wait, 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 wait. Left and right control the player. Fires to jump. Up and fires to fly. Flying only vertical. Down to fires interact with objects. No object, I guess. The player can leave the planet by flying above the top of the screen. So you can fly away. Oh, off the planet you go. Very cool. Let's see. And then this one. Oh. No. I think it was just on a specific spot. See, the, this one didn't work and this one did. Mm, might be timing. Okay. Because <laughs> the, pressed it the twice. wiring is not. I pressed it twice. Does not translate. It was if it was a Genesis compatible controller, then yes. All right. But it is not. Oh, flowers! Can you interact with them? Down and fire. No. Your first uh, interact with the ladder will transition to the lower screen. Your first goal is to find enough treasure to purchase a rocket shoes from the store. 
Oh, a dude. Interact. Uh, the star. No, oh, can't interact with him. Thrust 26, I have to find out what's missing in emulation. That is a good uh, case study. Oh! I died on the... Oh. I died on the friendly screen. Mm. There we go. I wonder what things you interact with. Oh, we didn't jump time. Along the way, the player can die by depleting the life meter. Alert! A planet has invaded. Oh my goodness. A planet has invaded? Like a whole planet came? Uh, by fall, a life meter, which happens by falling down holes and getting damaged by enemies. Can you interact with him? Oh, that you can. Get that money. I have one bar of money. <laughs> one bar of money, or one paper. Dollar. I meant one uh, health bar. <laughs> one health bar of money. Uh, when the player has both left and right rocket boots, you have to buy them individually. That's fine. He can go fight the boss. To access the boss, the player must be in outer space view and press the game select switch. Okay. Oh my god, what's happening here? Oh, something has taken over. I missed the first. Oh, we have to fly out. Yeah, if a whole planet invaded, wouldn't that destroy both planets in the process? I guess if you bring your planet along with everybody on the planet then you don't have to transport them in ships. You can just transport your own planet. Oh, a house. Yes. No, just decoration. Oh, that's... Oh, my goodness, it's a flying head. And a dead end. Ah! Uh. You got two bars of money. Maybe you can buy one boot. But from who? Uh, it said the store. Was there a store? I saw in a little overview? building that wouldn't do anything for me. Must I would go here. back into outer space. There's like super crazy alerts happening. I don't know if that. Uh... Oh my God! What? What? Oh, that's the planet. Are those? Oh, the... oh my God! Try and go to one of those guys. That's where I was. Is one of those oh. guys? Oh. Does that mean he's taken over that planet? Try moving around the button. This one. Uh, the rest is about bosses. Yeah, the rest is all about bosses. Can you go down to shoe, or is that just an indicator if you have shoes? Yeah, I do not have shoes. Okay, now, see there's a reading of the planet on the top, and that looks like it has three bars. Try and go to one of those other guys. Oh, it's uh, going again. down. Yeah. Oh, that's at zero. So it looks like they've taken over that planet. So you only have one planet left. I'm not allowed to go to it. Hmm. Be right in the middle? I've been in the middle. It didn't help. Done with the button bashing. He looks so happy about invading. Oh, oh, got in there. It's very hard to get the right exact. Oh, I guess it's red because it has been invaded. Oh, maybe that's why that head was flying around. Yeah. Now, did you Down. go? All the way to the bottom. Uh, but I didn't go this way. And the different ladders lead to different things. Is this the store? And I may or may not have been to this planet. So. Yeah. That's true. Oh, oh my god. What is what is that? I'm guessing oh, I have you to jump get over underneath. It. Or oh, under it. Yeah, much easier to go under. That guy is. Twisted. Oh, funny. This is... Now you go up here. Ah. This is a different area. Ah, okay. It's a maze. It's not a... Because you can only fly straight up, you can't fly across those chasms. Yeah. Mm. 
So it's best to like do the whole level and then go down. Yeah. Got more monies. Ah, flying heads. Okay. Hmm. Uh, yeah. So the other down it is still missed. unexplored. It looks like where you at? Does. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, go back up. Okay. This is a different area. No. Is where you've been, and you're gonna find another ladder. Oh, yeah, go down. that one, right? Let's go right boing, boing. Let's go left again before we go down that ladder. Oh, another ladder, okay. Oh, different area, okay. Oh, oh no. Do you have lives in this? No. You have health bar. Health bar. You lost some of your health bar. Luckily, it's pretty full still. This is a game that might need map because <laughs> there is a lot of. You mean like the other one? Uh, the other. Oh, dead end. The other one would is not too big, but it is fairly large. What? No! Stop jumping off my the life. That's a big jump. Now you gotta go back that way to a ladder that you didn't. Yeah, I am ter terrible with mazes. I just don't have the memory for all the unexplored areas. Which is why I usually make. I still don't. I haven't found the store. And it says you have to have uh, enough money to buy yeah, those. Yeah, those huts those seem like stores. they would be the store, but you can't interact with them. No. Hmm. Okay, looks like I'm done with this world. I think I made it down to all the bottoms of all the ladders. See if there's nothing up there. Oh, great. So this is the top of the planet, so now you're in space. My money! It's all gone! Oh, they're all invaded! Uh, we haven't done that one yet. The bottom one? Let's see if we... Oh, we did it! Yay! Hit the right exact spot. <laughs> is this the store? Can I buy shoes, please? Or better shoes? I like the flying enemies here. Uh, I like that guy too. It's really we cool. should kill that guy and take his shoes. Yeah, he has good jumping shoes. I like platformers. Last game had a little bit of platforming. This one has a lot of platforming. Dead end. Need super shoes. <laughs> Fly. Oh, uh, maybe. Maybe fight. Jump and fly. <laughs> no. Uh. No. Good. Good suggestion. Though. Maybe there's a ladder up to that one. You go around. So I do need to get. Oh my god. Triplication. Good use of application. Oh, there it is. Right. And that's the end. Because there's no other ladders. It's a small world, after all. Gimme. I'm full of money. Oh, I'm too full of money. You max, money max. Money max. I'll have to come back to that. But where is the store? That's maybe now I can go to the store? There was a, yeah, there was a building between this left and the left, I think. Can I buy, can I have shoes? Can I have shoes? No. Well, that's the end of that world. 
Okay. Now what? That, I'm going to reread how to get those shoes. That's a good idea. Uh, okay. Did, did, did. Where's the shoes? Where's the shoes? It's funny. We were playing Dungeons and Dragons the other day, and we yeah. similarly had a quest to find boots. Oh, what kind of boots were they? Anything. Yeah, we stepped on some grass, and the grass ate the soles of our boots. Oh my goodness! Instead of our feet, and so oh, we needed good. some more boots. <laughs> Better boots. In case we encounter the grass, so it would eat the boots instead of our feet again. The first goal is to find enough treasure, which I seemingly maxed out on, to purchase the rocket shoes from the store located on the green planet. That was, was the, the green right. planet. Yes. Okay, so now we know where it is. Now we just have to find the magical pixel. The exact right... Oh, I got it! <laughs> I'm <laughs> telling you, though... I pressed this button twice and then that one, and I didn't move for it. Well, maybe I'm wrong. That must be the store. It's right on the... Maybe it's a person? Yeah. Could be. There was, was a person, person on this planet. Yeah. Okay. Or maybe it was a different planet. Ah! Uh, I think it was this planet. Oh, okay. Here it is. I, I found the store. No, yeah. don't go there. Get those first. Oh no, look how much it's going to take. Yeah, you're going to have to go... Well, you'll be able to get... Can can I have... Oh his? no. Can I have that? <gasps> oh. Get health. Oh. Oh. Hey, if you want to maybe not afford your... Uh... I need that. I need that shoe. Gonna... I don't need that. See? Look at that. Already paying off. Do I have enough? I might. Maybe. Oh, oh one more. No, it's I know where money. it is. If it's not here, I know where it is. Ooh, oh, I, that I think you should. Hey! One more monies. Oh my god, he's got them. Can I just steal his? I think that would be Ooh, awesome. boy. How am I going to get around him? Can I go out? Right there. Perfect. This is a dangerous planet. This is a very large... Uh, top level. Yeah. Very large. Maybe they all are, though. I don't know. Oh. Oh, you came full circle. Okay. Uh, which is good. Just need one more gold piece. Do you have it? Are you hiding it? Well, ultimately, you probably want more than one. Ah. So you can uh, buy no. some health. Now I probably need it. It's a big gap. Hmm. No, we'll just it didn't go all the way the other way, but I don't me. need to. Ha ha ha. Now I will escape with all my gold and get my flying shoes but, so I can fly everywhere. Maybe. Should I go this way? No, that's dangerous. Oh. Damn it. What is happening? Like you get. Oh, I do have to go through him. If you get too close, if you get too close to the edge, you can't jump. Yeah, you get frozen in yeah. terror. Yeah. Yeah, that killed me, and I just thought it was a skill problem. They're all enthralled with the game playing. It's so good. It's the bastest game the best playing game <laughs> ever I seen. I think you went down there. I did not. Oh, that's the one you did go down. Now I have them. New mission. Now uh, defeat. A laser face. Okay, but you might want to find some more money. To get yeah. Health. Ugh. I'll go down that ladder because you said I have. I it. think maybe that's one you did go down. Maybe. But I don't know. It's well worth it. There you go. Apparently, you didn't go that way. No. Stop. Damn it. Try not to use up. All the health that you are going to get back. <laughs> Hopefully it's full. Hopefully it's full, yeah. yeah. I agree. <laughs> Not just like, oh, here's a tiny, tiny bit. Hopefully you don't use it up. I'm going to go. Down. Boo. I think I'm going to go to the. Go to the edge. Ooh. Is that enough? 
It looks like it is. It, uh, it might it be. It actually looks like... Because it was like a square, I think. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Can I get on the ledge? I don't like this. I'm going to jump, jump while he's in the air. Oh, I knew it! So did I. Did you? No. <laughs> this better give me all my health. Give me all my health. Oh! oh! I'm gonna go to that other planet. Yeah? There's like, there's like gold right there. I think it was pretty close to the bottom of the planet, but... Try this, yeah. Just gotta hammer it. Yeah, right. It was at the bottom, right? Yeah. It was at a certain bottom. Yeah. Can I survive long enough to get the last gold bar I need so I can go after the boss? Oh my god. The flicker. Ooh, that was close. That was. Not there. Not there. There. Not there. There it is. And now I definitely have enough. If I can only survive. Make it out. Go. Off the laser face planet to another laser face planet. Is it? Yeah, no, no. It's the one down. Yeah. That's the green planet. Yeah. That is definitely something that needs to be fixed. Like, you should just be able to go to it. Yeah. Like, it shouldn't be a, a mini game. <laughs> a mini game of hammering the button. I think it's near the top. Yeah. And then it's just to the right. Okay. Give you, it all to me. Click it. Click it. Oh, oh! It was all a waste. No, you have more than you did when you decided to start. Sure. Okay. Boss time. Boss time. Uh, when the player is both left and right rocket boots, which I do, says at the bottom, left and right. It says so. It does. He can go fight the boss. To access the boss, the player must be in the outer space view and press the game select switch, not the reset. Uh, during the boss fight, the player can move with the joystick and press fire to shoot. There are asteroids to dodge. The red ones are dangerous. The boss will rise onto the screen. Sounds like the last one, last game. The goal of the fight is to deplete the boss's life meter by hitting it in one of the eyes, but only when they're red. If the player is too late, the boss will unleash its special attack and spread unavoidable lasers across the screen. I have no life. Uh, That's defeating not true. the you have some a little bit. I have cats, and I have a wife, and I have friends. <laughs> and also in the game, you got a little bit oh, of a red bar there. That's true as well. Uh, defeating the boss is the final goal, but there's another factor in the game. But there is another. Uh, which is the asteroids that invade planets. I think it's too late for that. When a planet is invaded, it'll gradually lose hit points until the player finds and destroys it. Looks like a stone face. Stone? All these have lost all their hit points. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look like a stone face. The other game, it looked like a stone face. If the hit points are depleted, the planet will become taken over and the citizens of the planet will become enemies, mm -hmm. which we saw. It's only as a minor effect on gameplay. But the game is finished. I plan to factor the saved planets into the final score. Okay, so that's just score-based. Okay, I have to do dodge asteroids. The red ones are dangerous. Shoot the boss in the eyes when they're red. And then there's unavoidable lasers if I don't do it. So, game select. Are we ready? It's time to die. Okay, the red ones are dangerous. There is no boss yet. Okay, I can fire up. Oh god. How do I hit him in the eyes? Knife. Okay. Okay, okay so it doesn't the, hurt the me. The gray ones are not dangerous? Uh, the gray ones are not dangerous, it implies. Okay, turn red. Turn red. Turn red! Okay. How much did it go down? A little bit, I guess. Okay. I'll look. I didn't see how big it was. Okay, the asteroids are... 
Ah, oh. It went down a fair chunk. Hey, the great ones are dangerous. It, it went down about as much as yours goes down when you get hurt. Okay. The great, the great asteroids are dangerous. I don't, know why they, I don't know why they would not be. It's just the red ones probably do more damage. Oh, that could be. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah. And there's a artifact of a I, yellow pixel <laughs> on the lost health. Ah, uh, it's left over from coloring him. He dead! Oh, game two defeated! Look at him! He's warping out of... And oh, also, suspense. most importantly, sad. He's sad. He's very we sad. We made him very sad. Very satisfying. Good ending. Dramatic. My boots. I can fly anywhere. Oh no. Oh boy. I see in the Drama. future that instead of being like pistol lasers, it'll be feet lasers. Because your hands will be doing that. That's how the jetpacks work, just to have well, them on your arms. That's true. Feet and then you'll pew 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 with your feet. So you can do sideways shots somehow. But you can direct it. If you're moving left, it goes uh, to the I left. saw it go in different oh, directions. Oh, you know what? It... Oh, no. Not sure how I'm doing left or right. Oh, he's back. Why does he have full health again? Oh, my God. It is round two. Yeah, I was confused. Why are there no um, asteroids this time? That's, that's better for me. That is fun. Oh, you're yellow eyes this time. It feels like a bug. Comedy mask to tragedy mask. This is a work in progress. No, no, well, the fact, like, because this doesn't seem like. It's not the instructions. And there's no asteroids. Yeah, and it's too easy. You just yeah, sit here. That's what I mean. Wait to turn yellow and press the button. Great effects though. The flashing is awesome. If combined with the asteroids, this would be very, very cool. Maybe the asteroids go a little faster, or they're more erratic, or they more have more left-right movement. Instead, his death is more prolonged than dead feels. <laughs> Dead, dead. He's, he's not even on the snow. He's back. Look. Oh, no. No, oh, he's gone. Oh, he's very upset. Can I fly away? Oh, what color your eyes going to be? Oh, 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 God. What? Oh, we're back to this. Oh, he's still here. Um, like he, his eyes flashed. Yeah. And, but he disappeared, like almost instantly after his eyes flashed. I thought, oh, I'm going to have to shoot him, like, really fast, but no, it's just back to his normal. I'm guessing that this is uh, just a case of work-in-progress situation where I, the game doesn't end. I think so. It's just moving. I'll defeat him once more just to make sure. Yeah. Because it doesn't talk about this now. This is a little easy. Come on. A little easy? The asteroids really don't get in your way very much. As I can. <laughs> that's, that's what happens when you start talking smack about a game. Yeah. It's like, oh, really? Really. I I'll show you. You haven't been paying attention. <laughs> Fast enough, you could stay at the bottom and shoot. I'm gonna try that out. I shoot it's fast enough. So you're very, you're a lot more safe at the bottom. And more time to react. And your shots are fast enough. Oh, I see. I think, yeah, I think this is uh, the end. <laughs> awesome. Really. 
it that's a great game too. Yep. Um, and it's pretty much almost done. It seems just needs to have the final part to the boss de defeat. Like goes to the over. Like it needs to go back to the overworld, and like the, the faces like shoot off or something, and restore. The no, you failed. Those planets are doomed forever. But just instead of being happy, most of the cases are sad. <laughs> Taken over by monsters. Forever. Or maybe the monsters become happy. And they just stay there. Uh, okay, we're on to game number three. What do we got? I just tuned in. This is the most terrifying 2600 game I've ever seen. It was really effective. Huge screen. Uh, yep. I'll change the cartridge. Uh, to Twisty Passages. And I think I have something to show before we do this. Okay. Um, this it was also called Maze Craze 2 in the beginning, which is a 1978 game from Atari. And let me switch over to that. So we, uh, Most people here would be very... Um, familiar with Maze Craze, where it generates a random maze, and it's, uh, I think, one or two players, and um, you have to find the end of the maze. And this game is by Fred Quimby, Batari, who makes that, who makes that cartridge that we use right now. Right. Um, who uh, also makes the concerto cart for the 7800 and that's the harmony cart oh it's done so that is uh maze craze just to refresh your memory um this game uh came out in 2006 it's a long time ago i don't think um fred quimby has made a game in a long time i think they're all around the 2006 area it's like two player snail in the sms yeah exactly um, and then he also entered this into a contest, the mini game 2006 contest, where it came in um, sixth place in the 4K games. But look who is in second place in the 1K games Thomas Yench, who's in the chat today, all the way back in 2006. Um, other, game, other names I recognize in this list are uh, Silvio, Silvio Mogno, uh, who uh, put out Rainbow Invaders there, uh, who made um, the Cube Report recently. Uh, also, Chris Reed, <coughs> who me. had uh, two games in this, and uh, we're going to be playing Chris Reed's game next. So, a lot of uh, old school, some classic homebrew. Yeah, we're going to play some classic homebrew right now. Okay, so let's load up Twisty Passages, if you could, Darcy. Um, so this was first posted about March 10th. So it's generating maze right now. That's cool. And this is in a uh, supercharger format, which is this thing that uh, a lot of people might be familiar with. It has uh, 6K of memory in it, and you would load things off of, well, I have attachments to this, off of cassettes. All the games are on cassettes. So it had 2K of RAM and 4K of ROM, but it's all RAM. Mm -hmm. um, so Fred Quimby made this game. The game is in the 4K, and the maze is in the 2K of RAM, because that's how it's allocated in the in uh, the format press a button to start moving around so you're racing against that dude so he says uh, when he posted this on March 10th 2006 and it took me a while to find where this was posted it was not posted as a regular post in the forums it was posted as a blog post unfortunately all the old attachments to blog posts are gone and there's one version past this that he said he made and posted about, but this is one version back from the newest one. Um, 
I took another project on before others are done. Damn it, somebody stop me. This is a supercharger game written in Batari Basic with large chunks of inline ASM. Huge ass, we have played Atari today, right now. Uh, thanks to CD-W for posting the uh, SC skeleton code, which I used here. The maze generator makes a 128 by 128 maze in 2K of the supercharger RAM. To generate a new maze, hit reset and the screen will act as a progress bar. It takes about 15 seconds to generate a new maze. You can block off dead ends by pressing the joystick button, which should help in solving mazes since you can only see a small portion of the screen at any given time. The maze generation algorithm is a heuristic given the limitation of the system, so it may not work right. This is an early version he's talking about. Uh, let me know if you encounter an unsolvable or solvable maze. First one is solvable. I think this is the default one. Um, by the way, uh, here's a puzzler for 2600 programmers out there. Uh, oh. Without looking at the code, how does the progress bar work? <laughs> Oh, you blocked yourself in. Well, I was trying... I was trying the... Oh, there was a bomb. Token. I'm not sure what the bomb... It's never explained. But, um... I'm not sure. Maybe it's a bomb to plant for the bot? Um, he says, another update. AI is working. Which you can see. The bot roams, roams around the maze now. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to solve the maze for the bot. I smoothed out the progress bar using a missile thing in the corner there oh well at the bottom if you saw before Darcy pressed the button there is a maze generation code that tells you which maze you're playing which randomly generated maze so that I don't think it's settable like you can't go back so you can press a button and it'll block off that one press it now here yeah or up from the button Hold the button and press up, and then go down. Yeah, see, that's the problem. It needed to be up. Mm. So now I can't go back. Yeah. And I don't know that I, I didn't want to block off the whole intersection. Sure. I just wanted to block off that one side. That's what I did last time. Uh. But it doesn't matter because um, it only takes 15 seconds to make a new map. <laughs> that's very true. Uh, after generating our maze, a maze number, random number seat is displayed in the score. If you get to totally lost in a particular maze, a program is included that will generate one of the mazes, a monochrome BMP. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, it only blocks off intersections. Oh, you can select the maze. Oh. I'll have to check that out. Uh, then the next update, March 27th, 2006. Changes of the late. Uh, completely rewritten and vastly simplified in terms of code space with kernel. Added the ability to select the maze. There we go. Hit select and then joystick to change. I uh, request comments on the UI here. Uh, can generate a braided maze. Left difficulty A before generating a new maze. We'll have to try that next. Then in the version I don't have... Um, it says, with S SID to TIA, even mo folks like me can add a little tune to the game. Thanks to Manuel for making it. The hardest part was listening to several hundred SID tunes, trying to find the ones I like. Once I selected a few dozen candidates, I ran SID to TIA on each, trying various settings, just the right sound. Conversion didn't always go. The TIA is finicky. 90% of the tunes are totally off-key, otherwise sounded awful. Uh, then one stood above the rest, a catchy tune, basically on key, not terribly annoying. Other than music, there's now a title screen. That's why I know this is not the right version. There's no music and no title screen. An improved bot AI. The AI was really hard to do, that's why I haven't posted an update in a while. And you're able to select different AIs. A, very, a stupid bot, average bot, smart bot. Smart bot can complete the maze in as little as three minutes. When the bot is about to finish, the score will turn red. When the bot does finish, the score turns a salmon color. There's a lot more work to do. And that was his last post about this. Let's see what Thrust said about this game back in 2006. Graphics are okay. No in-game sound. Controls could be a bit better around corners. Um, don't recognize any of the other. Oh, Chris Reed says, Can there be a tie? I also voted 8 on another game. Even though Batari passed on my sprite idea, it's still a complex game for 4K. It deserves a lot of credit for fitting a really huge random maze program in just 4K. That is true. 
Oh, it's got red. So I'm assuming the bot finished the maze. Yeah. So let's switch to A. Which is harder? Game select. It just generates a different type of maze. Oh, okay. So now it says we can select. Oh. Okay. One by one. <laughs> Through the thousands and thousands of different maze. And I guess it uses that seed to generate the maze based on whatever criteria. So this is a braided maze. I'm not sure what a braided maze means. And the last one we played was a normal maze. Oh, select and reset. Oh, okay. Oh, that goes up quite a bit faster. Oh, and you can hold it down. Okay. So you will be able, you'd be able to get to every single maze if you needed to. Thank you, Thomas. It's a kitty. Nobody's given these cats treats yet. Anybody have some bits for some poor cats? Oh, the door's closed. Entry time. Ivory Tower collection. Now the door has to be closed. Ironically. Oh, it's treat time for cats. Are you ready, kitties? Oh, you got the bells. Are you ready? Who will be victorious? Is Atari hungry enough to defeat the mighty Sprite? Let's do this. And go. Oh, Atari is hungry. It's 1-0 for Atari. Oh, Sprite has rung his bell. It's tied up at 1-1. They're using the same bell, which is totally legal within the rules. 2-1. Oh, Sprite goes in for the grab. Greedy cat. That is... See? Now you fell behind because you did that. Now it's 3-2 for Atari. Atari's taking the lead. He usually falls behind when he takes the lead. Oh, he's commanding it still. 4-2. Sprite's having some trouble with his bell. Oh, he's not hitting it hard enough. Oh, he's skimming it. Oh, Atari is destined to, to win. What is going on today, Sprite? Oh, there you go. Just not hungry enough, huh? Atari's on the game. It's on the ball. Oh, there we go. 6-3 for Atari. This is very, very unusual. Oh, tiny, tiny ring from Sprite. Atari is still pulling ahead. 7-4. Three ahead. Sprite has got it. And Darcy is also feeding Sprite normally not throwing the treat away. He's not even giving a handicap to Atari. This is sad, sad Sprite. And it is game point already for Atari. This is very unusual. What is wrong with Sprite today? Are you feeling sick? Oh, oh, Sprite gets one more. Did he ring it? No, and he's done it. Atari wins the game. Good showing, good showing Atari, wow. Yeah, what has happened to Sprite? Atari's not messing around today. He rang it every time. Good, good kitty. kitty. You're a good kitty, too, though. You're a good kitty. You're a good, kitty. <laughs> good kitty. Open the... Thank you. Not too wide. It hits the light. There you go. Hi. Yeah, destruction. You run. I'm a monster. Absolute destruction by Atari today. 10-6. Okay, let me see. Oh, I can do on this one. Oh, I did a bad move there. Ooh, he's going up. I'm going to subvert that and go to the right. Uh, not... Oh, God. Uh, hopefully that blocks him. <laughs> but it definitely blocked me. I put it in the wrong spot. Ooh, should I... Oh, yeah, going down. Block that off. Might as well. Uh, I don't think this is the right direction. Oh, it might be. Oh, it might be. Oh, there's no way, there's literally no way to tell if you've been going in the right direction. No, there isn't. You can only block <laughs> off spots that you know are like dead ends. I mean, it's difficult to, because you can only put it oh. in a corner or something. Yeah, there's something about it. I press it and it sometimes works. Like, I can't do it. It won't there. go there. You have to be. I don't know. You have to know. press and. Oh. I have to way backtrack? No, I can go this way. Uh, I'm going to try this direction. Nope, dead end. Let's try it again. Oh, it worked that time, first press. In the corner. It works in a corner. Uh, I put it in pathways. 
Oh no! I think what it is is it oh, won't work. It won't work win. right beside a corner. Mmm. Now I can't remember which way to go, and I've blocked myself off f from way back. So I think the bot is going to completely destroy me. I don't even know if I've been down this path. Oh boy. Might as well block that one off as soon as I... It's weird. I'm not sure what's going on with the block. Oh, what? I think this is the one I made as a mistake. I put down as a mistake. Hmm. Uh, Dan says, I suspect... Atari took some bell enhancement meds or Atari put something in Sprite's food to slow him down. Well, every once in a while, they'll be sitting just at the, just at a particular distance from the bell. Yes. So that they graze the bell and you can see the handle move, but it doesn't ding it. Yep. And the rule is it has to ding. Because they don't and that's what happened to Sprite today. make the connection of exactly what makes the bell ring. They just know... They, they don't make the connection that they... It's the noise. There's something, yeah. It's they like, know the noise makes. They yes. know that they hit the button. Yeah. And it makes a noise, but like it's not the noise. Ooh, should I go this way? Let's follow the bot. <laughs> it's it's good I to follow the bot way. because then way. when he backtracks, you're like, oh, that was wrong. Uh, true. Oh god. He can go through it. Ah, uh, cheater. Ooh, should I follow him? It's cute, because I think they're supposed to be mice with those big ears. They do look like mice, yeah. Yeah, so it's super cute. I think he's going in the right direction. I'm not... Oh. He can see dead ends, and he doesn't go completely to them. Where did he go? Well, he might be mapping it. Because the, the information shows up on the screen. It's just that As soon as he sees map it, it, I think, yeah. he can map it. It's just like a human, right? As like, you it... could do it. Yeah. Ooh, I think this is good. No. Uh... See, with Maze Craze, you could see the whole maze. This one... Ooh, I'm going to go up. This one, you can't see the whole maze. Yeah. Which is harder, but maybe better. Ooh, those are dead ends up there. Am I going to hit it? Oh, very dead end. Yeah. Very. That whole right is dead end. Oh, that's dead end. I'm going to put a block there. This feels dead endish too. Ooh, that's up there is dead end. I think the exit's in the lower right. Oh, I've hit the side of the screen. I'm gonna try for the top right. We're looking good for the top right. Yes! <laughs> yes! I never thought I would be first of all. Find the end of the maze. Second of all, beat the bot. Oh my god. That's three games I've beaten. Can I beat the You're fourth unbelievable. game? Unbelievable. I, I don't can't think believe you would, it. I don't think there is a win state to the fourth game, but I'm on a roll today. Oh is it a god. game if you can't win? My understanding is that you have to have a way to lose and a way to win. The way to win on an unbeatable game is to be the highest scoring person in the world. Uh, I think that's the only way to win that kind of game. Um, very cool. Uh, game. I think it's uh, more of a programming exercise for one, generating the maze, that's solvable, two, and running a bot through the maze. Um, but it, it can be fun. I don't think there's a two-player option because it would have to split the screen, but that would be a cool addition to this, is have, uh, it would show less of the maze though, and you'd have to decide whether you want to show it vertically or horizontally too, and I don't know which would be better. Oh, they know their player face cam is offline, right? Oh, it is hot today. What is going on? Is this overheated? 
It's the feet show, yeah. It's just feet. You gotta pay extra. Did you? No. Oh, it's all good. Okay. There you go. It's back. Let's move on to the last game. Game number four. Thumbnail or whatever you call that. Fruit fly fun. Yes. Change the cartridges. There we go. Thank you for letting us know the face cam is offline. We didn't we didn't know because we don't have it. Has, it's over there and it's small when we're uh, switched. You over. ready for the button to be pressed? I think so. This was posted originally December 20th, 2022. This builds from July 18th, Fruit so three days ago. Fun. It's a 2K game, very tiny. Uh, it's by Chris Reed, Atari 2600 Land. He has made hundreds, hundreds of small Atari games with like simple concepts mm -hmm. and he just like comes up with the concept makes it in like a few days goes on to the next concept uh, we played a number of his games on the show over the years uh, Fruit Fly Fun is a game where you swat flies that are trying to eat your banana to avoid hor uh, and avoid hornets and bees which come after you I would like to keep this at 2k I have 6 bites left so not much else can be done unless I would change something I already have so go for it. You swat the flies and avoid the hornets and bees. That's a hornet. You know yep. Don't. I swatted him. You did, and you died in the process. Run! How am I gonna run? Run, run away. Um, so this was originally from a multi-game concept. I think it was gonna make a four-game. Uh, goal of mine is to make three tiny 1K games, then make a menu that is also 1K for a total of 4K. Uh, three games, no bank switching. The constant theme between all of them is they all must have bananas in them and all must do good things, i.e. the bananas won't kill you. I just finished up my first, very first 1K game remake of the first game I ever made. La, 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 la. Uh, July, and I'm, I'm going to skip way ahead. July 18th, a couple days ago, he says, I give up. I can't make the scan line count steady at 262, so I guess I'll have to stop working on this. And then I dug a little bit deeper into this, and he posted... Oh, my God, that's a big fly. Um, into his blog. And he, and he, and he posted something quite, uh, quite upsetting, actually. He says, I'm going to stop making games for the Atari 2600. Reason jitteriness. I try and try to make the scan line steady, but it eventually drops to 261 or goes up to 263. I played the stupid fly game for 15 minutes. I thought it was going good until the scan line went up to 263. Since I'm sick of trying various things to stop make to try and make the scan line steady, I've deci decided to stop programming in assembly Atari 2600 altogether. You would think a game about fruit flies in 2K would be easy, but no, God forbid I do anything correct. I'm such a failure. I guess it's back to Game Boy programming. Oh, that's very sad. I'm, and then he posted the code uh, to this game. So I'm sure somebody will help him out and be able to um, point out what the issue is. And maybe he can apply that knowledge to other games that he's frustrated with as well. So... I hope he doesn't give up because he makes really fun, tiny, tiny games that are a focus on a simple, singular concept. And uh, sometimes it, it's some really great game that turns out that I've never seen anybody else make. So it'd be very sad that uh, if he gives up. There's guys that go across the screen and guys that follow you and then there's flies and then there's double flies that I saw on your game. It, it looked like you're having trouble hitting the double flies. Were they? Uh, I feel as though a large fly killed me. Oh, really? I don't know why the game ended. It was not on a wasp. Oh, the game ends uh, when... You either get hit by a wasp or your banana goes away. So I wasn't watching. How does your banana go away? Because the, 
the flies eat it. It, it just ate a row of my bananas. Oh, okay. So you can't let them get to your banana. Those don't eat it, only the flies. So I would imagine that that's what happened even though I didn't notice it disappearing. Possibly. Mike Latow says, I can relate to the uh, struggles of 2600 development, especially... Maybe you have to hit it multiple times. The big one, I think you have to hit multiple times, yeah. Mm. Yeah, 2600 is... You're programming in... You die. You, oh, no! You're programming on bare metal. Like, you are programming directly to the 2600 when you're doing assembly. So, and, and the 2600... Oh, my God. There's a jump. I saw the jump there. Um, and when you're... And with the 2600, you're literally drawing the screen in real time. Oh, it's getting my banana! So if you mistime something, it's going to make the screen jump because the screen is like, oh, I just follow your directions. So you're literally programming everything that you see as it happens on the screen because the system only uh, doesn't have a frame buffer. Oh, that was close. It doesn't have any frame buffer, so if you write to the character here, like say this thing that you're controlling, and you don't change it every line, it's just going to write the same thing all the way down the screen. And the only reason it doesn't draw on the screen is that you're changing it to zero, like nothings, um, and blanking out your character. So you see it does that crosshatch uh, every second line. So that means the programmer has to say, okay, we're on the second line, feed new uh, graphical information to, to the system so that it knows to draw the next checkerboard pattern. Oh, we're on line three, draw the next checkerboard. And that's same for the enemies and it's same for the clouds as well. So like all this blue area here, this is empty playfield. Then when it gets to this line, hey, get back here. It goes, okay, draw clouds on that spot, then blank that spot. And, um, but in this area of it, he doesn't have to reprogram it because it's all solid uh, cloud all the way down. And he's done a reflected playfield. So I see it's the same in the left as the gotcha, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that means he doesn't need to reprogram it on the right-hand side of the screen. Well, I'm almost dead. This guy's gonna get it. Oh! That's a lot of bees. Oh! Yeah, lots of bees. And those are hornets. They like to follow you. On earlier versions of this game, I could play forever, but he's updated it so... with these big, big ones that are harder to kill. And the flies are more unpredictable. 390. Let's see if I can beat that next time. Can somebody type J390 in the chat? You go again. Me go again? Yep. Okay. These guys are... The enemies are pretty easy to evade. So if anything, I would change them to be... I don't know, unpredictable or more or faster? Uh, well, the thing that you could do... I don't know how this... This seems like it would be too hard given the current setup, but you could have the enemies at the same time as the flies. That's that's tricky. Um, you can do it. It's tricky, but like then... You'd have to flicker them. Because as it is, you, it's just, you're just spending time yeah. when the wasp is there. You're not actually... Once you know what to do, you just do it. That's true. I mean, I guess that's true with lots of things, but... Yeah. Uh, Risk-reward is always... The, is always the thing you want to have in a game. Have something where there's a reward that you can get from it, but there's a risk to do it. So having one of those guys on and the fly is like, oh, I could... Ah! I could go after the fly, but there's a guy in the way. So maybe I should take a different route to the fly. And the flies are very direct, which I think is is good, because you have to react quick. And he did make 
uh, the ones that fly straight across the screen really, really fast before. He slowed those down. Which, oh, big chonker. Oh, he got it. Ah, the, no. The bees? Yeah, the bees that go straight across the screen. They used to be really, really fast. They get really fast. Yeah. But I, I see what you're saying. They're even faster than they are now. Yeah. yeah. And I think they should maybe go to the fast speed again. Um, he did program it so that, say I was over here, the bee Doesn't would come not in. come out on that side. Yeah. yeah Which is good, because it was just devastating on earlier builds. But if you keep it on the opposite side and make them really fast, like just enough time to get out of the way, and make it maybe near you, like if I was at the bottom, you shouldn't come at the top opposite side, you should come almost around where I am. See, that one is nowhere near me, not even a concern. Flies are the big problem now. Everything else... Oh! As I said that. Damn it, didn't make it. One more game. I should maybe stay up a bit. So that... In case one of those bees... See, the thing about... Board. The thing about putting the flies and the wasp and bees on the screen at the same time... Yeah. Is that then you could make the flies... Uh, less direct. Yes. As it is right now, the challenge with the flies is that they will go towards it, and if you don't kill them immediately, you lose a bit of banana. Yep. That's the problem. Like so I have to stick around the bottom. Have to. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, whereas if they... If you had bad guys on the screen at the same time as them, then you... They wouldn't have to be like that, I guess. I'm yeah. Yeah, you could program different... Um, different patterns to the to the to the flies. And make it a bit. Have more you seen any jumps yet? Uh, I did. When there was one big fly on the screen, uh, it jumped once, but I've only seen that once. And I think that's what he was referring to. He's like he played for 15 minutes, and then it's like, oh, it jumped. He's like, oh my god. And I can see why that would get frustrating. When you're like, you think you got the, all the, the bugs. Yep. No pun intended. Um, ha. Ah! Oh, that one! That one was tricky. Flew around me. Yeah, you could either make the flies faster and, like, try and evade you more. But I was thinking you me. could have it so that there's... Uh, you could have it so the flies are flying around at the same time as yep. the bad guys. Yep. And you could also have it so that you can use the wasp to manage the fly. Uh, Which, not easily, but it could be that the fly and the wasp are not friends. Oh, and so okay. If, if so if you get the wasp near the fly, then he'll, he'll like, eat the fly. Oh, something. yeah, that would work. Yeah, so you can manipulate the enemies against each other. I feel like the flies do zigzag unpredictably for us. It's a just that bit. James is better at killing them than I'm, so you're not seeing it as much. Because when I was fighting, they were like, yarr, 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 and I was just Ooh, get, not get pressing it. the button quick enough. Good for fly bit. scores. Oh my god. Onslaught of flies. Yeah, that's. Yeah, if the flies were faster and zigzagged. Uh, they more. could zigzag like. like Yeah, they could zigzag quicker, yeah, like sooner. Yeah. Because they seem to zigzag. I think they zigzag after you get to the banana. Although, them flying straight there, to the jump. banana is ma does oh, make it God. harder from a winning the game perspective. It does. Yeah. It's really hard. So you have to be right near the banana. Oh, those big ones get it almost every time because you have to get them twice, I think, yeah. At least twice. Uh, and they're already on the banana by the time... Either you have to hit them twice or you have to hit them in the center or something. Oh, yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know. All I know is that I was having a harder time killing them. I, if it's hitting them in the center, he would have to use software collision. Oh, I see. And probably has not done that because it's 2K. Probably wouldn't have enough room for it, but never know. Because otherwise, it's all of this thing that is black. All of this sprite that's black. Exactly. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, one banana yeah, left. That's your hitbox. 
banana, sliver of a banana. It's still good. It's still good. Oh no! No! Oh my God, he was he was He's, moving he, around. He deked. He, he deked. Yeah, he deked. tricky too. No! Stay away! No, no, no! No big flies! No, 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 no. You've matched your previous score. Yay! You beat it. Yay! Now I'm happy then. Now you can sleep. Yeah, it's the sleep world tonight. record televised record. <laughs> world televised record. Is that it? Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing. I don't know if anybody else has played this uh, with a video. I just like to say that. Um, it's much easier to claim when we have a world debut that uh, you have the world record. Yeah. <laughs> Those like, are oh. my favorite kind of uh, records. It's like the ones that you understand the conditions very well and therefore you can make a ridiculous thing. Oh, oh, he ate my banana. Four ninety nine. dollars I'm happy with that. Like when I say A Lost Colony is the best science fiction novel ever written by me. <laughs> Bye, Darcy <Tripod. laughs> Uh Hey, Xanamandu. Welcome. First time chatter. Um, yes, I'm using a Tink 5X Pro. I don't know why they added the Pro. There's not a non-Pro. But it's Pro. Um, which smooths out any jumps. Because before, when I was using... Um, what was that other one called? Do you remember? It's another box... Frame Meister. It, yes, yeah, yeah. it had some things in it, but it would still go nuts and, and drop yeah, out. Yeah. Uh, this is like the ultimate solution for any games that have issues. And even modern, like not modern, but you know, 90s systems where it would change from 480i to 480p um, because different menus would have that. It smooths that out as well and provides a, <clears throat> it takes like three frames and buffers those three frames so that it just kind of smooths it. I don't know how it does it, but it smooths it out so that there's not a dropout. Um, because other, like the Frame Meister would go, oh, I don't have any signal for like one frame. Yeah. And it would freak out. Blue screen or whatever. Blue screen for like yeah. five seconds and you could die in that time. Yeah, it was like a easily, nightmare yeah. mode. Five seconds is a long time. <laughs> oh my God. And you're like, ah, am I dying? Yeah. Um, and But you can still see the, the frame drops or the frame issues. It just goes... Like that really quick and i mean i i'm just i can see it when it when it happens i'm just used to seeing it um it may smooth over ones that are ex exist anyway um so you should always use stella if you're a developer and set the break conditions so that it's like if line changes from two 262 to anything set a break condition because then you'll know exactly where in your code it jumped from to 261 or 263 it's like super super handy and you can get rid of all the problems of course if you're, all of the problems all of the problems, all of the problems yeah. go away yeah that's the only problem you could ever have <laughs> in programming um but it, a lot of released games in the in the 80s and 70s for the atari 2600 had these issues like terrible issues like they would jump constantly there's a there's a huge list of um that outlines these and you wouldn't see it on a crt because a crt is just like bleh, bleh, just pukes it onto the screen it doesn't care what it's showing modern systems why it's doing that it's like it requires a perfect signal at all times it's like it just throws a fit yeah i know it it's weird a perfect it's like signal i remember vcrs when oh, they first yeah. started doing tracking that. tracking kind of things. and like remember like we used to do the four by four in videos and when you were mm. uh getting them you had to like use a specific vcr because yes. it was degraded to the point where it said there was nothing mm. there but there yeah. was a picture and you could find it with like yeah i think i'd use my sony vcr because it had a better read head or some technology in it and it would it would just it would go blue for a second, but it would come back really yeah. quick. So it's kind of doing what this is. Yeah. It's not throwing a fit. Oh, it would it would output a good blue frame to the TV mm. rather than 
send a crap signal to the TV where it would yeah. drop out. And it's the thing where, like, yeah. you don't appreciate what it's doing for you, and you probably should. Yeah. But it it definitely gives you the feeling of, like, who's the boss here? Is my VCR the boss <laughs> or my boss? Just play what's there. Yeah. Don't tell me what you want to play. You play what's there, because that's, that's what I right. told you to do, machine. But sometimes it's helping you. It's probably <laughs> almost always helping you. <laughs> but it is annoying, like... Uh, yeah. When all of the things that just work, they're awesome when they just work, but when they don't, you, you can't make them work, and that's annoying. Yeah. So having, like, an option to turn it off and on is great. And the Retro Tank is, is a magic box. Oh, my God. I was so happy when that came out. Um, so that is the last game. Uh, coming up on the show, next episode on Tuesday, where we have two exclusive Jaguar, Atari Jaguar premieres, um, both from Cyrano J. Uh, Backlash and Encounter. And we're also going to play playing uh, Blockum Sockum, which is a new game from the immortal John Hancock for the Jaguar. And we're also going to be playing a fun little game called Flappy Chicken. It's, it's like Joust with chickens flying in the air. And you're like destroying things in the air. It's really cool. Um, and then next Friday, we have a huge show. We have the Atari VCS Homebrew Special which is uh, this box, the new Atari system. Atari VCS 800 is its uh, full given name. Uh, there's the controller. And we're going to be having somebody from Atari on the show uh, to answer your questions and to talk about homebrew on the Atari VCS the, and getting your homebrew on the Atari VCS and how it works on the Atari VCS. And we're also going to be talking to Deanoid, Dion, Dion Olsthorn, who has homebrew on the Atari VCS. Amoeba Jump. It says and it's Black Walnut 800. Ooh, it's the Black this, Walnut. There's the Black Walnut. Here. Yeah, there we go. There's, uh, there were different um, models put I out. I wonder if it. It, it's probably just plastic, but it has texture. And that's nice. I can't remember. I think it might be real wood. I don't Maybe. know. Could be laminate. I'm not sure. Both is cool. Yeah, I just got it the other day. I don't know much about it. I only paid attention. So did you say that this is, or is it the other controller that has a spinny? Oh, it's the other controller oh, that okay. looks like a classic uh, CX40 joystick. Have you tried your VCS yet? Yes, I have. I plugged it in and I did um, upgrade it because um, you need to. It doesn't work out of the box. You have to um, burn a... Uh. Uh, not burn, but make a uh, you yeah light on fire, a a USB stick, and uh, a bootable USB stick because it's it's a computer inside of this, and it runs Linux by default, but you can load Windows on it and stuff like that, um, and you just plug it in and press go and it upgrades it automatically. It's very painless, and um, if it were real, it might justify the price. Um, I got this on sale. It was 50% off sale, or 25% oh, wow. off sale. So that's when I jumped on it. And I knew I would have to get it because Homebrew is now on it. Exclusive Homebrew is on it, actually. Mm -hmm. um, John Van Rysen's game, new game, Alien Abduction. He's the guy who made Hero. It's only available on this right now. And it's a 2600 game? It's a, it's a real 2600 game. What it does is plays the games in emulation through the box. So it, it's a... It's wrapped in an emulator when you launch it, and you, and uh, yeah, you just play it uh, through this, and it also has modern games as well, made with uh, Unity, I believe. Oh yeah. Um, it was a bit of work. Oh, um, I mean, I've burned bootable USB drives before, many, many, many times for Windows or Linux, so it was very easy for me. But I can see why it be, might be challenging for somebody who has never put an image onto a USB drive. Um, so, there you go. Looks like Thrust has some uh, questions for Atari. <laughs> so, build up. I'm going to post something in the Atari Age forums for people to uh, be able to ask your questions about... Uh, I'm going to concentrate on homebrew, specifically. And... Um, 
Atari 2600 and 7800 because Bob DiCrescenzo's failsafe is all also on that system. Um, so I'm going to ask, you know, questions like what's the future of homebrew on it? Are you going to support Jaguar, Lynx, 5200, 8-bit, things like that? Um, what's the process of getting your homebrew on there? But I'm going to post a thread in the Atari Age forums for questions from devs or just average people um, to ask. And we'll have a, a real person here from Atari, not in the studio, but, you know, <laughs> videoing in. You'll uh, be the real person. Here. I'll be the real person. They'll be real, but in a different place Yeah. in reality. Um, so in be, theory. In theory. They may be an AI construct, you know. If you can't real get a noogie, then I don't know if it's real. Yeah, mm, that's the test. That's how I know that these cats might not be real, because I never give them a noogie, because that's cruel. That's cruel. You can't do that to cats. Yeah. I mean, you can easily do that to cats. And would you want a it's robotic a AI idea. cat? They it's might, not a good that idea. That might be good, you may if it's indistinguishable, because it. they don't eat, and they don't stink up the place. So maybe an AI cat would be good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe. Uh, um, so definitely tune in for that next Friday. It's the same time, 12 noon Pacific time, 3 p.m. Eastern time, 7 p.m. GMT. Um, and uh, later on, we're going to have also a 7800 Game Drive special. We're going to have a live interview with Saint from Retro HQ, all about the new 7800 multi-cart SD base multi-cart as RGB out. Supports BUP system. No other cartridge has supported that. It has huge support for all the all the different homebrew games. Yeah, really, really good. So we'll be talking with James Bolton, Saint. Uh, we will also be having a live interview with Ed, Eduardo Mello from Opcode Games. I know there's a lot of wists in that statement. With, 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 I know. ClickAvision with SGM with live interview with Eduardo Mello. There's no other way. <laughs> I, I've, I've actually, I'm very conscious of that <laughs> and I've tried to say it a different way. Um, we're going to be showing off some of his n brand new games uh, as well as the uh, Super Game Module and that's going to be a special little departure because it's uh, ClecoVision. But I thought it'd be fun. Sometimes we show other systems. We do Vectrex and Intellivision and uh, also ColecoVision sometimes. So we stray from Atari from time. Not very often, but once in a while. So that'll be a lot of fun to talk to him about uh, the um, Coleco side of things, ColecoVision side of things. Um, and lots of other games coming up in the future. I want to thank everybody who tuned in today. And I want to thank Darcy as well for coming over. <laughs> uh, Avery Tower Collections, Thomas, Charles Whelan, RC7E, Danny VC, Vitoko, Zana Mandu, first time chatter, uh, Mike Latow, Danny VC. Prow, huge ass, who is apparently listening only. We're that good that we can communicate. All of, I've never seen that before. Maybe huge ass seventy nine is the one that's good and is able to like piece together what's happening through voice it's only. Pretty good, that's real good. Good. Uh, Metal Lunar Seven, uh, Atarian Dav P A, uh, Smitty B seventy eight hundred. Master KSI, who else? S. Ramirez, The Real Keck. Um, who was the first time chatter as well? Hello. Uh, lots. Oh, Drexel, <laughs> who subscribed. Splendid Nut. Lots of names here today. Thanks for tuning in. Um, and uh, we will see you again on Tuesday with Tanya. So be there and uh, have, or be square or, or be, be the square, square and also still be there or be round. It could be whatever shape you want. Oblong, rectangle, cat shaped. Yeah, but be there. Whatever shape, whatever shape you are, whatever you need. You to can fit be into square. Your couch. You can be square and be or there to your chair or whatever it is. Yeah. So see you on Tuesday. Have a great weekend. Uh, stay cool because it's warm out there. Or a lot of just places. like don't stay too hot. Yeah, just 
stay under the whatever deadly that, body yeah, temperature. Whatever that temperature is that do doesn't not, work for you. Do not go to places how, that have achieved wet bulb temperature. You will die outside. Maybe we'll discuss that next show, what wet bulb temperature is. Do you know what that is? It's about humidity. Yeah, it's... Well, we'll discuss right now. It's where you can't sweat because yeah. the water doesn't evaporate because the temperature it's 100% and the hum humidity well it doesn't have to be it can be lower but a higher temperature it's um it it is the factor of both of those that does what, not allow what is you it to about sweat. the higher temperature that keeps your if but if humidity isn't isn't 100 percent that's raining why can't you no rain no 100 percent humidity is that the atmosphere can't absorb any humidity isn't it Mm. And if you're below that, it can. So I don't know why being hot would make a difference. But being hot with high Be humidity, anyways, is brutal. Yeah, it's, they already have it's, that in like Florida. I don't understand it completely, but it's the inability for the evaporation from your skin. Yeah. Because the air temperature and humidity match it or are above it. Yeah. So that it's just you cannot physically cool down and they well you can't physically cool down through sweating through sweating yeah, yeah yeah you'd have to do it other means um and they and i was watching a map looking at a map and there are a couple places now in the world that have reached wet bulb temperature they're mostly around the middle east area in india where it's really really humid but also really really hot where there's like bodies of water that are uh, really warm and the breeze is bringing those bodies of water the air from that into inland and it's got to uh, be a way to take advantage of that because yeah. you can draw humidity out of the air mm. and uh, I'm I'm guessing that if you live in a desert and it, you have high humidity in the air that there's a way to take very good advantage of it i'm not saying yeah. it's not i'm not saying that it's not dangerous i'm just like there's thinking, something you can do there's something like it, yeah. you could turn that to your advantage is the point like if the in the desert like if you could get yeah anyways never mind. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. we're done uh, humidity is humidity if there's water yeah. if there's humidity in the air then it's a possible resource if you need humidity yeah to draw yeah. it from the air to make yeah. water yeah and and the reason you cool down is because it takes so much energy to convert water yeah into uh change it either way into gas yeah yeah so, and it gets it from you it goes and it yeah. takes all the energy from you yeah. which goes ah cool down because energy is temperature etc et yeah. et yeah. that's why if you're cooking something <laughs> like if you're cooking something in the pan and yeah. if there's lots of water you can't burn it i mean you can yes. you can burn it if the temperature is high enough that it can it can locally get rid of the moisture even if there's more moisture in the pot it can burn it in and that spot that's, and i just learned the other day that's how rice cookers work ah. because it can't go above 100 degrees until all the water's gone that's right and it goes but click you can still burn your rice if oh, the temperature yeah. is too high yeah. because it can locally get rid of it just in that area down there it can, then it can go above 100 yeah. degrees but yeah like when i'm cooking like something for chili or something i'm searing i'm searing the stuff beforehand and i gotta wait until all the water boils off yeah. and then very quickly you can sear sear all of it <laughs> in just yeah. like a couple of minutes but yeah. it might but depending on how much water's in what you're cooking it can take a while to get to that point yeah, yeah. and yeah. then you add your spices and then you add <laughs> water back in and you go nom. nom and it tastes really good and there's your uh uh science lesson yeah. for today about uh, i don't know if it counts as science i'm not sure we were scientific <laughs> enough for it to be a science we're lesson. Be being very general <laughs> and probably inaccurate in many points yeah <laughs> <laughs> so have a great weekend and read up on wet bulb temperature so we'll see you on tuesday have a great weekend everyone Bye bye